Hey YouTube, this is Mark again with Hanging with the Hyatts. I, uh, I've been working on this uh, 9,000 pound car lift I got back in November of last year. Uh, I worked on it all winter until it got too cold out here. I couldn't work on it no more, but I just finally got it lifted up. Um, my little tractor really wasn't didn't have enough lift to lift it up, so I had to improvise. So here's my improvise. I made a, uh, I jacked all this up on my forks, put a winch, that's a 12,000 pound winch from Tractor Supply, and it gave me enough strength to lift it up. I don't recommend this, because uh, it's not OSHA approved, but I didn't have many options. I had a quote. I had a guy come out here and give me a quote on lifting it up, and he had a uh, two hundred fifty dollars minimum charge just to come out here. And once he seen what I was doing, he said he didn't want to fool with it because he didn't want to be liable. But I don't work like that. I wouldn't hold anybody liable. All I wanted to do, to all I wanted the guy to do, is to lift it up. But anyway, it's lifted. And now all I gotta do is get it where I want it. The weight is up. And my little tractor did good. And it's a Kubota B2601, 26 horsepower with a 12,000 pound winch. How did you get the power to your winch? I had the power to my little pickup truck. So it's a 12,000 pound winch. Rated at uh, 30 amps, I think, maximum low. So you want to have a good uh, battery source, but it's up. What's the little blocks in the floor for? What blocks? The wood. The, the kelp, when I was raising it to keep it from sliding, I had to anchor them down. I didn't really want to do that, but that was all my options. So when I started lifting it up, it wanted to slide out from underneath me and twist. But for those that uh, don't know, I've had rigging classes with my company that I work for and I know how to rig stuff up. So uh, that's it. So see you on the trails and thanks for hanging with the Hyatt's.